QuickBooks Online 2022 reports month two save as PDF and export to Excel. Get ready because it's go time with QuickBooks Online 2022. Here we are in our Get Great Guitars practice file. We set up with a 30-day free trial holding down control, scrolling up just a bit to get to the 1 to 5% currently in the home page, otherwise known as the Get Things Done page. Change to the accounting view. It's something you can do by going to the cog up top and the switch to the accounting view down below. We will be toggling back and forth between the two views, either here or by jumping over to the sample company file currently in the accounting view. Going back over, we're going to be opening up a few uh, tabs that we can put reports in. Well, let's just start off by opening up one tab that we'll be putting reports in, right clicking on the tab up top, duplicating that tab. And when you're opening up reports, if you were in the accounting view, let's jump back on over here. It would be under the reports area on the left hand side, back on over to the business view where it is located in the business overview and then into the reports. Now, last time we opened up basically all the reports and thought about the types of reports we can save uh, that we might want to save them in some formats for presentational purposes at the end of the month, at the end of the quarter, at the end of the year, in our case, after the two months of data input that we have put in place. Now we're gonna just open up those reports and basically save them as a PDF and think about how we might want to present them, noting that if you're doing bookkeeping, especially for clients externally, this is really important, not just the numbers that are involved in it, but the formatting that you're providing to the client because you want them to be confident that you're you know, doing the bookkeeping in a proper way. And part of that is simply presentation. So we're gonna close this back out and this is what we have. So we're imagining now that we have basically set this up and now in future years or future periods, we can simply go into these reports, change the date, and then save them as we want to save them. So that's what we'll do now. Note that we listed, we numbered them to try to make it as easy as possible so we can order them in this fashion. That will make it easy for us to order them if we're going to give them in the format of a PDF file. So there'll be an order in one folder possibly. And if we were going to present them in other fashions or group them in other ways as well, the, the few ways that you might think about grouping these reports is one, you can email them individually, which is not what I would recommend because that will be way too many emails and not you know, as professional looking. You can attach all these onto one email, but now you got nine attachments. So I don't think that's as professional as you can be as well because you've now you've got nine attachments that they would have to download at one time. You can zip all of them into one folder, which I think is a better way to go if you're going to be emailing them out or you can try to put them in one PDF file, possibly with the use of Excel and a PDF printer, which we will practice doing. Or you can use the Manage Reports tool on the right-hand side and then modify one of these reports, including the reports in it, which is another way you can get everything on one uh, page with a little bit different formatting, which might be a formatting that uh, you prefer and might look professional in that way as well. I'm not gonna get into the Manage Reports item here, uh, we've talked about that in the past. If that, that, So look into that. That's a tool that you can use. We won't be doing that here. Instead, we'll be exporting them as a PDF. We'll be zipping the file. We'll export them to Excel as well and make one PDF with the use of Excel and a cute PDF printer, saving all that information into our folder uh, here for the second month. So that's what we'll be in doing. Let's get to it. So we're going to open up the balance sheet. This is our summary balance sheet, the, the least intimidating balance sheet we have. I'm going to save that one and I'm just going to first export it to Excel and I'm going to open it. I'm sorry, I'm going to first export it to a PDF file and then we'll look at the Excel formatting of it. Opening up the PDF, I'm going to save it as a PDF and I'm in Chrome. So it's going to open up this item down below in Chrome as the browser. I'm then just going to drag it and drop it into my folder here, uh, just grabbing it, dragging it, and dropping it where we want it to go. I'm going to try to do all of these in, in terms of a PDF, and then we'll go back in and export them as an Excel file, and then use the Excel file to make one PDF. So that's what we got so far. I'm going to close this out. I'm going to right click on the tab up top, duplicate that tab, and repeat the process 
this time for the second report. So we're going to go to the reports on the left-hand side, business overview reports. I'm on report number two, the comparative balance sheet. Now note, as you group this stuff, you might say, well, I would rather have like my income statement after the, the simple income statement, after the simple balance sheet. You might prefer that order. I'm not saying this is the best or only order you might put it in. So again, put some thought into it and think about what you, how you want these reports to be shown and what order they should be in for your clients so that then when they have questions, you can basically try to get to those questions as easily as possible. So I'm gonna say this is gonna hit the dropdown. Let's export this to a PDF, save it as a PDF, opening up our folder, dragging and dropping it. So I'm just gonna say, grab that thing, grab it, left click, hold it down with the left finger, don't let it go. Don't let it fall till it's in the folder and drop it. Ah, and it falls into the folder. I'm going to right click on it again. Let's duplicate it again for report numero trace number three, as it's as it's called reports on the left hand side. We're going to then go into the hamburger, closing it up, opening up report number three, vertical analysis on the income statement. It's all set up for us. The dates are already set so we can just export it. Look how easy it is now that it's all set up. Just export it and then save it as a PDF. We're going to drag that on over and drop it into our folder. And then I'm going to close this out and make another one. Right click and duplicate again so we can do the process another time. Go into the reports on the left hand side, closing up the ham bug -er, and then we're going into the third report now, or the fourth report, aren't we? It's the fourth report, the income statement. I've got four tabs up top, right? Fourth report. And there it is, it's set up. This is the income statement summary where it's collapsed. So the simplest format of the income statement. Let's go ahead and export that to a PDF, saving it, grabbing it, dragging it over, dropping it and close this out and open up another tab, right click and duplicate another tab. So we can do it again with the fourth, the fifth report in our list of reports by going to the reports on the left hand side, closing up the handbook. And the fifth report we had was an income statement. So I'm going to open up the, the income statement for the fifth report standard. It's a like comparative income statement. So I, oh, by month, okay. And then let's export that one as a PDF, saving it, grabbing it, dragging it over to our report. Gonna close this back out, right click up top, open another tab so I can grab the sixth report, I believe we're on, which is the comparative income statement. Now it's taking the difference between the two months and go back up top and then I'm going to say I want to export this one to PDF por favor PDF por favor grabbing it and then dragging it and then dropping it closing that back out right clicking up top and duplicating again now we're looking for number seven number seven report opening it up this is the vertical analysis report let's go ahead and export that to a PDF, saving it as a PDF, por favor, grabbing it, dragging it, dropping it, and closing it, and then right clicking up top and duplicating a couple more times. Reports on the left hand side, we're now going to the to the trial balance. Let's open that one up. The trusty TB. Let's go ahead and hit the drop down, export to the PDF, save it, as a PDF, grab it, left clicking it, grabbing it with my left click finger and dragging it to the drop in. And then right click one more time. I think this is the last one duplicating again. Going to the reports on the left hand side, closing the hand boogie, going down to the transaction list by date this time. And then we're going to export that one to a PDF. I'm going to hold control scroll down a bit so I can see my exporting thing up top and then export to the PDF. Save it as a PDF. Click on it, drag it and drop it to where you want it to go. 
this is what we have thus far. Now note that's a lot of stuff for one attachment to an email. So you might take that and say I'm going to zip it to the reports, reports, month two, which you probably would say February, month two, I'm going to say for practice problems, and then grab all that, drag it in, and then possibly do the, do the zipping thing, right clicking and zipping it, send it to a zipped file. That's one way we can do it, and then I can attach the zipped file, but we also might want one PDF with all the reports in it in order. So let's try doing that with the exporting and cute PDF features. Back to the first tab. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to export it as an Excel file and try to put all of this stuff on one Excel worksheet. So I'm going to take that first one and I'm going to drag it and drop it because that's where all the reports are going to go eventually dragging it and dropping it. So here it is. And then I'm going to open that one up and I'm going to rename it uh, to my reports, my total reports item. So hold on, let's not open it up first. Let's 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 rename it before we open it by right clicking on it, right clicking on it, and then rename it. And I'm just going to call this reports reports for month two. And this is where I'll put all the reports opening it up now this time opening it there we have it. First tab is going to be the balance sheet. So now let's go, let's go back on over and just open the rest of them up. So now I'm going to go back on over. I'm just going to go tab to tab, tab to tab, drop down, open up Excel. You need Excel to do this, by the way. If you don't have Excel, then of course it won't open in Excel because Excel is necessary to, to uh, open it. Then I'm just going to grab this. Once it's open, I'm going to put my cursor on the triangle up top, right click on the selected area and copy the selected area and I'm going to put that over on my other Excel worksheet where I want it to be. I'm going to hit the plus button and I'm just going to call this report number two for simplicity purposes. Put it in A1, right click and paste it. Now we could go into formatting. I'm not going to get into a lot of formatting here to make it look a little nicer. What I want to do, however, for the minimal formatting is make sure it fits on one page wide. I'll do that by clicking the layout tab to see if it fits on one page wide. This one does not. So I'm going to go back on over. There's the split right there. So I could just make this a little bit smaller and it should basically fit on one page. So let's keep it at that. Looks good. I'll save it thus far. Go back into my uh, reports. That was the number two report, I think. Let's call this just number three report. I'm going to export this one to Excel. Hit the drop down export it to Excel, simply open it up. Then I'm just going to grab it by putting my cursor on the triangle, right click and copy the whole thing, and then go back on over to my first worksheet. And I'm going to hit another tab, which is I'm just going to call tab three now, and put my cursor up in A1 or select the whole worksheet and control V or right click and paste. See that it fits on one page by going to the page layout on the left hand side, on the right hand side on the bottom. It doesn't for some reason. They're making this column really wide. So I'll shorten it up. There it fits on a page. Looks good. Looks good. So that'll be good. And then we're going to go back on over and do it again. So we'll go back on over. Next tab to the right. Going to export this one. Hit the drop down, export it to Excel. Simply open it up in Excel. So there we have it. Going to grab it by putting my cursor on the triangle, right click and copy. And then go back on over to the first tab. Hit the plus button. This is going to be number four. Put that in A1 and control V or paste it. That one should fit on one page wide. I'm not even going to check it because that's totally fits on a page. Let's go back on over to the next one. And we're going to say, let's export this one to Excel as well, opening it up. There it is. Let's go ahead and copy that, putting my cursor on the triangle, control C, and then going back on over to that first tab again, making another one. This is going to be just some number five, I'll call it. And A1 or the entire worksheet on the triangle, control V, pasting it. Let's see if that fits on one page by going to the page layout and back on over. Looks like it does indeed. Let's go back and say next one. Next. 
and we'll export this one to Excel, open it up in Excel, and then we're gonna copy it, putting our cursor on the triangle, Control C to copy it, going back to the first tab, making a new tab, double clicking on the name, this is number six. Putting that in A1, Control V, pasting it down. Does it fit on one page? Let's take a look at the page layout to check it out. It does. Let's go back and do it again. So now we're gonna say we're on the next tab to the right and we will export this one to Excel. Exporting another one to Excel. So there it is. Let's go ahead and copy it. Put my cursor on the triangle, Control C, copy the entire thing back to the first worksheet. I'm gonna call this number seven tab down below. Paste it in A1 on tab number seven. Going back on over, we're almost there. Let's go to the tab to the right and let's go ahead and export the trial balance to Excel. The trusty TB. So there it is, putting my cursor on the triangle, control C. Back down below, we're gonna to go to the first tab. A lot of sheets open, I should close them up, but double clicking eight putting that in a1 a1 there we go and so now we're going to go one more time that we need to do this one more time tab to the right and then transaction this one's going to need some editing i can tell right now already just by glancing at it it's too wide the thing is too wide what do you have against wide reports I don't like pasting them together when I'm trying to read them. Copy this one. I need to fix it. Something must be done. Putting that one over here. This is report number nine, A1, and pasting it. And so let's check out if I go to the page layout tab and back on over way too wide. Here's our cutoffs. So this one's going to have to go to landscape, I would say. Let's go to page layout tab up top and say this one needs to be landscaped, landscaped. The lawn needs to be mowed, and then on, and then I'm gonna un, I'm gonna un, merge these cells so I can do stuff. So for, so the home tab, get rid of the mergeation, no merging. Could you demerge please, so I can do some editing, demerge, and then, then we're gonna move the headers over because that column A, is not necessary, is it? Like why do they even put that there? I don't need that column. It's stupid. So I'm gonna right click on it and delete it, get rid of that column. And then this memo line, that's excessively long. Let's make that way smaller. And then like this, this line also seems excessively long. I don't see why it needs to be that, that big. And then we might not need, we might not even need this posting area Let's just get rid of that. Let's hide it. I don't want to delete it because maybe someone needs it. Let's hide it. Right click and hide it. So there we go. It fits. Now let's center these again, but not by merging, but rather by selecting the items, right clicking and saying, I'm going to format the cells and center across, center across a less well known, but quite useful technique. Let's do that here as well. Right click and format the cells and center it across one more time selecting these items right clicking formatting the cells and centering them across so now i can make these turn this i'm going to save this so i don't lose it and i'm going to try to use this to print one pdf file with all of our reports on it using the cute pdf printer going to the file tab up top looking at the print option and I'm gonna change this to the cute PDF printer. If you don't have a PDF printer, you can do this one. I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's cute or not really. That's what they call it, but it's functional. I'll tell you that. It's not just it's not just because it's cute that you'd want it. We're gonna say this is gonna we wanna to get to the entire workbook here. It's got twelve pages. Let's see if everything fits on one page wide. There it is. We could do some more formatting, of course, but that we're just kind of given the given the example here so everything looks like it's it's fitting well enough for the example problem let's go ahead and print it out which will actually save it as a pdf so we're going to print it out which really saves it as a pdf 
So where is it? It takes some time because that was a lot. That's a lot to save. There it is. So now I'm just going to go ahead and save it right there. Plop it down right there. And then I'm going to minimize all of these tabs to try to get to. I should just delete all this. Okay, here it is. So now we can give this report to someone one at a time. We can zip it. We can give them the Excel file, but you usually don't do that unless they want it in Excel for some reason. And you can also give it to them in this PDF format, which can open up with a PDF reader or in a browser such as this, where you got all the reports on one page. They're kind of formatted a little bit differently, formatted to the left. The alignment is something you can kind of work on, but it's kind of nice that they get it in this one PDF file, which could look kind of fancy and have less stuff that they need to open when uh, you give them the email if they just want to if they just want to check it out and see if you're doing it what you're doing and they have some confidence that stuff's getting done over there data's being entered and so on notice that this last one is in landscape format and you can see it on a pdf without without it shifting or changing or rotating at a 90 degree which is nice so there there it is